<laughs> so excited. <laughs> Are you excited to scare you? You need to scare yeah, you. Oh no. Sorry. Howdy y'all. Hi guys. <laughs> it's Ryan. And Angela. And Pepper. Pepper. From RNA Music. Pepper Potts. Deep in the heart of Canton, Texas. That's where we are. Right now, this very moment. Yay, Texas! Yay! <laughs> Howdy. Well, all right. It's uh, I think it's FAQ 29, isn't it? Yes, 29. it is. Oh, my voice just went crazy. That was weird. Well, you had a sore <clears throat> throat today. Yeah. yeah. Sorry if I sound weird. I'm going to crack. Voice. Yeah, hair poking out. Sorry. You're always picking up my eyebrows. So. Yeah, it's my eyebrows practically perfect in every way. Practically. Unquiet Dave, question number one. Hey, Ryan and Angela, like many guitarists, it's easy to just sit down and noodle around the fretboard and play stuff you like. Noodle, noodle. Although fun, it doesn't really make you any better of a player. Any tips to have an efficient practice time? Mm. Unquiet Dave. Uh, yeah, actually. I know what you're talking about. It's easy to just pick up your guitar and just kind of fiddle around and play stuff. I don't know why. That, that, I don't know. Feel like fiddling. fiddling. <laughs> that was, I think, a banjo. I think so, too. You can play it on a fiddle. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's, it's easy to kind of mindlessly noodle. Yeah. Uh, if you want to have more efficient practice time, I would plan it out like before you even pick up your guitar have an idea of what you're going to do yeah like maybe the night before whatever or just anytime sit down and go hey you know what? i need to kind of work on this i have haven't really learned certain scales and and write it down like hey i'm gonna work on scales for 10 minutes and yeah. um, maybe I, I suck at this scale so i'm gonna work on it yeah set the, goals set goals write down what you're gonna do have a plan you know mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be super detailed it might just be hey i'm gonna play some scales for a little bit. I'm going to work on this one I know I'm not good at. Yeah, I'm going to work on chords next. I'd like to learn some new chords. Yeah. So pick up a chord book and open it up and do something new, right? Mm -hmm. You need to work on songs. Basically just have a plan. You know, have a little bit of structure. Don't go crazy. I mean, you, you can be super organized if you want to, but just having a little bit of structure to your practice time. And then use a little timer. That's something I like to use. It's very effective. You can use your phone or your watch, mm -hmm. your iPad, whatever. A little just cheap three dollar stopwatch you know set yourself a time limit you're gonna work on scales for 10 minutes you're gonna work on chords for 10 minutes you're gonna work mm -hmm. on finger exercises for 10 minutes you know you're gonna jam for 10 minutes whatever you want to do but I would write out a plan of some kind I mean you know what you need to work on more than anybody else does mm -hmm. wherever you're not good at work on those things and then before you quit do some noodling no, no. so it'll just have some fun at the end but yep. that's what I would do Definitely have a have a plan in place before you start. Yes. And you'll definitely make, make more progress that way. Yes. Thanks, dude. Good question. Great question. Right, Pepper? Yes. All right, next question is from Big John. Big John. From Big the land John. of Florida. Is it Florida? Uh -huh. Aren't you in Florida, John? I think so. I think so, yeah. Florida. Mm -hmm. Greetings, Ryan and Angela. How are you all doing? <laughs> Good. Ryan, what is a baritone guitar? Is that for someone who can't commit to the bass or regular guitar? Is a baritone just a guitar with a tree trunk strings? Angela, my wife, my wife friend is a tattoo artist and just opened his own shop in Humble, Texas. Don't know how far that is from you. I know I need more tats. Remember, don't get Ryan, don't get Ryan's name on you. But it's okay to get his favorite band, Metallica. No. <laughs> not gonna why would she why would she not want my name <laughs> see that's the whole myth about tattoos is that you know it's bad luck or it's just not good because relationships don't last, relationships don't last forever and so having another person's name on it but will last forever yo yeah i i'm pretty sure we're not anything's gonna happen <laughs> no we're gonna be a hilarious old couple like Funny old hilarious. Rockers. We'll still be doing YouTube's videos. If YouTube is around fifty years from now. Yeah. I'm sure it probably will be. Yeah. Holograms. It might be. It hasn't died like, you know, MySpace. Oh. Oh, poor MySpace. <clears throat> uh <laughs> questions. Oh, a baritone guitar. Well a baritone <laughs> guitar 
is basically a, a six string guitar with a little bit longer scale length so that you can you know tune it down to say like uh, a b or something like that hold on a b or something like that yeah a big thing had a b on my head no just fuzz just fuzz okay that's what i get for not wearing toboggan today <laughs> I, I thought I would go without the beanie, so I have it on. So I stopped confusing people, and they stopped wondering yeah. what I have going on. <laughs> Anyways, curiosity. Curiosity. I have a beard. That's all he needs. That's all I got. It's a beard. Um, <laughs> basically, because like you know, you take a regular guitar, like a Les Paul or any of the others that are you know twenty-four, three-quarter inch scale, or even a twenty-five inch scale, twenty-five and a half. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot of low tunings. Uh, it just doesn't really uh, accommodate those low gauge of strings. So a baritone is basically a, a six string guitar with a longer scale length that you can do these lower tunings on. So yeah, Ooh. they're not easy to I find. You you pepper. You me in the face with her ears. They're not super easy to find. I hear a lot of good things about the PRS. Stop licking me. But you taste so good. <laughs> She has a licking problem. She has, she has a licking <laughs> finish. <laughs> uh, the Mike Mushok Signature PRS Baritone. A lot of people dig that. It's a great guitar. If you're looking for a baritone, uh, I hear a lot of really good positive things about the one for PRS. So mm -hmm. There you go. I don't know how far away Humble, Texas is. From yeah, Canada. I don't know. We'll I think to, it's a while. We'll put up a, a map photo of it. I think it's a bit of a drive. Mm -hmm. I think it's around Austin. Oh, look. I'll look while you talk. While I talk, it's a little bit of a drive. Now, we have friends like uh, who have uh, a lot of tattoo connections. Yes. Yeah, uh, my best friend, the bitter bass player, Paul, he goes to somewhere, I was going to say posh, but not posh, but down in Deep Ellum in Dallas, there's yeah. a lot of uh, rock and roll um, tattoo parlors, stuff that have been there a long time, and he goes to a guy who's really, really good, been on TV and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And Angela has some friends, some of her lovely lady friends, uh, got their tattoos from somebody in Kaufman, Texas. Yeah, it's 179 miles away. Yeah, where's it at? Oh, it's by Houston. Yeah. It's practically in Houston. So, we're the blue dot, and there's the red dot. So, that's how far away. 179 miles. Yeah, we ain't going to... We ain't going there, man. Sorry. It's too far away. Sorry. But yeah, Kaufman, <laughs> Kaufman's like 30 minutes away, mm -hmm. and... You went there, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we went, and it was just great. You know, we drove up, and he's just an up-and-comer, and he doesn't like to advertise. You know, he doesn't have any signs that says it's a township parlor because he doesn't want people off the street just coming in and asking. It's by appointment only. Word so, of mouth. Word of mouth. Appointment only. Yeah, so, yeah. So he's he's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen some pictures of his work. That's yeah. probably where she's going to go. Yeah, because I've already been there before. I know the atmosphere. I feel comfortable there. So. If I let her, <laughs> I, I might huh? put, I might put huh? my foot down and not let her get one. Dang it. Back to the kitchen I go. <laughs> get in the kitchen. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> nothing. I didn't say nothing. You do what you want. That's right. So excited. <laughs> yeah. Go to the previous video to understand what yeah. <laughs> No, it's it's on this one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be the next one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They'll be watching this one. <laughs> we're, we're kidding. We're joking around. Oh my gosh. In case Lord have mercy. Sure. They know. They know. Yeah. <laughs> they know. Yeah, Especially yeah. Especially Big John. But I think you should go with Big John's advice to get a Metallica tattoo. <sighs> what did you want to get? What were you going to get? I was gonna get uh, bird of prey, Klingon bird of prey. Yeah, well, I wanted to get the the feather that breaks apart at the top and turns into like the the sparrows flying off. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll You're see. You're undecided. I think she's gonna have my name tattooed. So excited! The I wanted his, I wanted like Sauron. someone to do like a caricature of his face, like, and then like him have, and then the arm right here will be like a tattoo and have so excited. Yeah. And I'm going to get have, my, like the middle of my back. She's not going to have my name tattooed. She's going to have a my face tattooed. Is that back. the same as the name? Or is that I better? think I think that's better. I think it's better. Yeah. I'll always be watching you. Mm -hmm. As long as I get the silver 
part right here. Silverback. Beard. Silverback. Silver side. <laughs> I think we'll be great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Special. Thanks, Big Jar. Right here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next question. Josh B. <laughs> hey, guys. Hope y'all are doing good today. Question for both of you. Jedi or Sith Lord? If you both choose Sith, who's the mentor and who's the apprentice and why? Keep up the great vids. Salutations from England. Hey. Hey. Originally from Aruba in the Caribbean. Nice. Nice. First question. Do you still have family in the Caribbean? And do they like visitors? Yeah. They got a spare room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really... No, I don't want to go. Because there's water and there's sharks. Always wanted to go. Visit, not live. Well, visit. I'm not getting in the water, though. I'll tell you that. Hey, Angela, your sign-off sign should be, keep plucking away <laughs> for the best. All the best for RNA in 2015. Hey, yeah, thanks, Josh. Thanks so much. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, we plan on having an epic 2015. Yeah, That's the plan. It, lo it looks that way. All right. It looks that way. <clears throat> Jedi or Sith Lord? Hmm. Should it be Jedi Master or Sith Lord? Yeah. That's what I mean. I, I think I'd have to go with Jedi Master. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't like the tension in the office, you know, master, apprentice, master, apprentice. You know, there could be so many Jedis and you can live wherever, so. And you're not inherently evil. No, I'm not. But I could be a bad mama jama if I have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I would So want, Jedi. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea of Jedi. I could see that. Yeah, so. Um, my favorite Jedi you want to know is Kit Fisto. He's my favorite. Why? The dreads. But the dreadlocks, yeah, it just so rocks. He dreads. He's you know a brother, so it's it's just the coolest. And he goes underwater, and he's like he's Aquaman like, but cooler. He's like Aquaman except with a lightsaber. Awesome. Yeah, except awesome. <laughs> Aquaman. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think I'm gonna say? I have the con contractually obligated beard. Yes, I think that you would have to go with Jedi Master. I'm pretty sure I have to go with Jedi Master. Yeah, you would be more like a Qui Gon Jinn, though. Yeah, except not die. <laughs> I would be better than Qui Gon Jinn. Ooh. Wouldn't it be so cool if like Liam Neeson busts through the door right now and be like? I don't think so, right? <laughs> Let's do this. I could this. take him. I could take him because I heard I heard that Taken uh, Three was not very good. Well, well, Taken Two wasn't. He's very getting good old. Either. He's getting old. Yeah, it's, it's no Yoda. his voice that we like listening to. It's his voice. He's got a killer voice. That's why they always have him on the phone. So all I want to hear is his voice. It's like Morgan Freeman. You listen to that man all day long. He's awesome. So, I would yeah. definitely, I would definitely go with Jedi, Jedi just Master. because I get to have a beard. Yeah. Number one reason. Yeah. And number two... Nicer places, well lit, you don't have to live in an abandoned industrial know, park. see, because if I was a Jedi, we couldn't be married. Mm. We'd have to uh, break the rules. So? That's who I am. Rule breaker. Mm. I don't know, I think. Probably a Jedi, I just... I'm not I'm not an evil person. Mm. I don't really lean... We're too laid back to be Sith. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. I'm not mad enough. <laughs> I'm not angry enough. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'd be a Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reasonably certain. So if we're both Jedi's, is one of us the master and one of the apprentice? No, we're both masters. That's right. We're, we're both, on the Jedi we're, Council. We're both council we're awesome. members. Yeah. We have a secret fling. Don't tell the other council members. We're hiding it from them all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Josh B. <laughs> Lovely yes. question, dude. Great question. Great By question. the way... We've only got about a week left. If you want to order, speaking of, if you want to get a uh, the special edition R and T shirt, we're only doing pre orders. I'm not ordering a big, huge, fat batch of them just to keep them stocked up. Pre orders, pre orders only. Shoot me an email. Don't you can't sing that. I can't monetize the video if you put the someone else's music. Shh. See, I didn't do it exactly the same. Oh, you changed it. You went all uh, vanilla ice on there. That's true, dude. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> it's different. Under pressure. Next question, please. <laughs> Jerry Vander mm hmm Hey, Ryan and Angela. This is Jerry. Hey. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. I am from Iowa. Nice. And I watch, enjoy watching your FAQ show and other YouTube videos. Awesome. Have you guys ever wrote a guitar song together? You guys rock. Thanks, Jerry. Vander Rockin'. 
Yeah. Jerry Vander Rockin. I have yeah, changed, we've changed your name. Changed your name. It's official. It's awesome. Have we ever written a song together? <laughs> yes, we have. Yeah, a couple, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We used to be uh, worship pastors at a church. and Don't so, tell them that. Some people hate religion now. It's not cool to be. Even. Get over it. Stop being so uptight. Good God. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so, yeah, we used to be worship pastors. And so. That was our job, and we would write songs all the time. We haven't written anything secular. Um, no. Together, um, mm -hmm. that would be great. We're, wor <sighs> we're working on it. I'm working on some music right now. Yeah, not with me. Well, I haven't got with to bitter the... bass. No, not even because he's he's too busy. Okay. He's too busy. Whatever. He's got people mm -hmm. now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have written some. It's been it's we've, been a while. We've some. It's been a while. We don't we yeah. Uh, we've written about two or three songs together. Yeah. Very. It's very acoustic guitar. Yeah. Sing it. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Mellow kind of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm working on some rock tunes now. I'm gonna recruit Angela to help me when it comes to the vocal stuff. So. I'm not getting you a timeline. I mean, it'll yeah. happen. We have written stuff together. We before. are so hectically busy. It's like what, for stuff like that that we really do enjoy doing. We have yeah. to like throw it in whenever we can. So it's it's really hard to get to give it to the attention that it deserves. We really yeah. have to have specific times blocked off to do that. And you know, both of us having the same time. At the, other than yeah. going to bed, going to bed. Because <laughs> when I'm it's... teaching, when I'm teaching lessons, you know, she's watching the front desk. When she's teaching voice lessons, I'm watching the front desk, answering calls, mm -hmm. selling guitars. I had a guy come in today from Austin, bought a Chapman guitar, drove three and a half hours to get here. When he got here, right before, okay. hey Cody, <laughs> you rock, dude. And uh, right when lessons were starting, so Angela had to take over a couple of my piano lessons. Yeah. And, <clears> so, when it, so and then when <laughs> lessons were over. He's doing, you know, editing video and answering phone calls and Packing texting guitars. and talking to certain guys across the United States that remain nameless right now. <clears throat> Robert and Ike, whatever. <laughs> and John. John uh, Busy Reese. And Tim. Tim taking Robert. up my husband's time. It's Robert Baker. Mostly. Uh, Robert's and Ike. Yeah, and Ike. And John. And John. Hi, Ike. <laughs> Shout out to my buddy yeah. Ike. It's all, it's all Robert. See him putting it on you, Robert? That's just not nice. Robert Baker. Um, so, uh, but while he's doing Australia. all that stuff, I'm usually back at the back with the boys and and getting things cleaned up and getting ready for a new day. So, our you know, by the time we actually settle down, we're... <laughs> yeah. Go to Walmart, get some groceries, and head back home. And Yeah, find a time. I mean, when music is your business... Yeah. You know, because we, we do music stuff all day long, selling guitars, selling stuff, ordering stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, teaching lessons. We do a lot of lesson stuff here. And then so when the day is done, mm -hmm. and even after we close, there's all this other behind the scenes stuff that has to get done. <clears throat> you know, finding time to sit down and just write music, mm -hmm. it's hard to find the time. Yeah. Know? We got to make the time. But, right, right. Yeah. But stay tuned. We'll, we'll do something. 2015 will be the year for music. Yes. We really mean it this time. Yes. <laughs> Promise. 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 All right. Thanks, Jerry Vander Rockin. Yeah, that was good. Tim Worley. Hi, Tim. Hey, Tim. We were just talking about you. Were your ears burning? <laughs> Probably. Question for RNA and John Piz. Any oh. plans for an NYXL type acoustic strings? I would love to have clarity of the NYXLs unplugged. Big fan of both RNA and Daddario metal fingers <laughs> well tim coincidentally enough yes now you actually if you go check out the website right now you'll see an announcement about that i've known about it for a few weeks because i'm in the know because i know special. people john piss basically what they've done with the exp line of strings with the the exp stuff is their coded string now what they're doing is they're taking the cores mm -hmm of the NYXL, which is the stronger, um, better tension. They're taking the inner core mm -hmm. of the NYXLs, and that's what they're going to make the uh, EXPs out of. So all the EXPs going forward, same coating, same wrap, phosphor bronze, A20 bronze, but mm -hmm. they're going to have the NYXL cores. Right, right. 
So it's going to have the better strength and better tuning stability. So it's kind of a blend. They're taking the guts <laughs> and the core of the NYX cells mm -hmm. and wrapping it with the EXP coating. So, yes, Tim. You're gonna, you have it said it's really almost a hybrid of the NYX cells Ooh, and the EXPs. Nice. Hybrids are cool. Yes, they are. Like bow ties. <laughs> like bow ties. So yes, Tim. Awesome. Stay go. tuned. I'll be at NAM next week. Next, ooh, I'll be, next week I'll be there. Yeah. It'll be hard to do the FAQ Friday if I'm... I'll do it all by myself. I'll have to do it with Robert Baker. Or not. We'll do a Skype. I don't know what we'll do. We could do a Skype. We'll do a, FAQ. I bet we could do a Google Hangout. We could do a, we could do a live thing. I think. I don't know. I'll ask the Tone King. Okay. He does this all the time. We'll do a, we'll do mm -hmm. something. We'll figure it out. She wants to get down. Go. There's nowhere for her to go. She can't go. I think she wanted it in uh, your lap, actually. Come here. <clears throat> Fine. <sighs> Judas. <laughs> Ooh, she's a good girl. Good girl. She's like, I wanted just to lick you. <laughs> uh, of course you do. All right, Ant Eater seventy four. Hi guys, my question: If you could invent a guitar pedal, what would it do, and what would you call it? Take care, guys. Ant Eater seventy four. Man, that's a tough one because there's already like a bajillion pedals out there that are awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if I could, well, <clears throat> the funny answer is I would make it dispense dollar bills. Mm -hmm. Every time I stepped on it, it would shoot out twenties. And I would call it uh, the gold digger. <laughs> yeah. I would have it so where there was a microphone jack and it would actually tune your voice like you can actually do like pitch, you know, to recognition on the pad and it would be called um, the prima donna. <laughs> prima donna. It's like uh, auto tune and a foot pedal. Yeah. I think they have something like that. Mm -hmm. um, honestly though, I, I, I think... <laughs> What would be cool, I like overdrive, of mm -hmm. course, so I, I would maybe make an overdrive pedal, but I think what I would really do, the only other effects that I use, like my beard, yeah. besides overdrive, I use delay and I use reverb. So I've got a little, um, I've got each one from TC Electronic, I've got the Hall of Fame and I have a flashback. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be cool to have a double, sorry Pepper, double <laughs> pedal, like one pedal, and one side is a delay and one side is reverb, and they're mixed together, and maybe interact those things because guys do that all the time. Reverb and delay, they create all this ambient stuff. Yeah. So maybe in one pedal. But nothing fancy. Not like the, uh, oh, what is it Steve's got? No, I don't know. He's got some crazy stuff. <sighs> That's a tough one. Because there's so it much, there's, there's so, so many much great pedals there. already. I don't know what I could bring to the market um, that's better than what's already there. Yeah. I don't know. I think a delay would be cool, though. I call it the river god. Yeah. Ambient, delay, reverb, Deadly. stuff. A little, a little, a little. A little. Mm -hmm. I call it the pepper. Pepper pots. Pepper pots. There you go. I don't know, dude. Perfect. That's a really tough question. So, thanks for asking. There you um, go. Adam Lamar. Tattoos are awesome and addictive. I'm not saying I have like 13 of them or anything, but I'm also not saying not... I'm also not not saying that. <laughs> Got some tattoos, Adam? <laughs> what do you think of the Randall RG1003 and RG3003? <clears throat> I don't know. I actually haven't played on one, but I did, I did order an RG1003 for a customer. Jake came in one on one, and I'm like, yeah, I'll get you one. So I ordered it in. Mm -hmm. uh, we got it. And the day it came in, of course, I had his, his dad came and pick it up right before Christmas. So I didn't even have a chance to play on it. Mm -hmm. But um, I've watched some videos, and I think it looks really cool. I, I would like to get one for the shop to just have here, because they're very affordable. It was like a 120-watt head that was $2.99. Mm -hmm. So it's great. I, have a, I, have, I had a Randall RG100 Stereo Chorus. Um, for a long time that had some really killer gain stuff on it and uh it eventually died on me after like six years but it was it was very affordable too mm -hmm. and so having not really played on it i can't honestly say what i think 
other than I'm pretty excited to try to order another one. Maybe I'll have Jake bring his back up here and let me play on it and test it for you guys. Yeah, He'd probably yeah. do that. Yeah. I have him play it. Yeah. And y'all can yeah. talk about it. That'd he can tell fun. me what he, what he likes about it. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I would love that. Randall's got a lot of cool stuff coming out this year. Mm -hmm. um, so stay tuned for that, Adam. We'll get to that. Just for you. Just because you asked and you have an <laughs> epic beard. People, <laughs> with tattoos. Epic, people with epic beards and tattoos get answers. That's how that's we how, do it. That's how we roll. That's how we roll. Right, <laughs> Whew. I know. She's hard to heavy. Mm -hmm. I mean, heavy to hold. Yeah, I'll put her out there. We had to put Pepper down. I think she was getting restless. Yes, and hot. She was tired. Yeah, she's warm. She's got a sweater on. She's making me, <laughs> she's making me hot. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got another question. Got dog hair. Uh, oh, Pepper got hair on my question. All right, we have one more left. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. It's Brandon Early. Early. It's early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, from Longview. First off, really like your videos and hey, the awesome Texas. connection. Mm -hmm. Longview, Texas. Yeah, he's like a, like an hour away from us. Yeah, that's great. I got I got several friends in Longview. We do. Brandon. Um, da, da, da. Awesome connection between you and your wife. Thank you. I really admire both of you for what you've accomplished and the hard work you seem to continuously put in to make your dream a reality. Yes. Hey, thank yes. you, sir. For thank you. <laughs> it is a lot of hard work. <coughs> uh, I'll make it out one of, their, one of these days, hopefully soon, to chat up with y'all. I have a few Good. questions. Are you a Jet City dealer? I've been looking at these amps for a while and would love to hear your honest opinion. Play mostly blues rock and want something that takes pedals like a champ. Second question. Well, let me, let me get to that. Uh, I was a Jet City dealer back from beginning, very beginning, 2010. Mm -hmm. Jet City came out in 2009. We opened in 2010. Yep. I'm not anymore, unfortunately. Uh, Jet City came on as a small company and grew and was trying to grow. And the amps are great. Mm -hmm. I have no complaints. I would recommend them. I mean, I have one right there. That I've had, that's one of the original 20 watts from the beginning. It's mm -hmm. mine. Yes, I mine. My precious. And they're great. They take pedals really, really well. Um, mm -hmm. Now, through growing, and they went through a couple of distributors, because you got to, the amps get made overseas, and they got to come to a warehouse and distribution center of some kind here to make it out to dealers. And they went through a couple of distributor changes, mm -hmm. and currently, mm, they've got some kind of deal with Musician's Friend which in America, you know, Musician's Friend is a huge, massive mail order thing. It's owned by the same people who own Guitar Center, and it's a massive, massive online deal. So they worked out something somewhere where Musician's Friend is pretty much the sole supplier, seller of Jet City stuff right now. So um, it's not just me, but anybody who was a Jet City dealer before, nobody is a dealer now except for Musician's Friend. And, uh, you know, that's fine. You know, I talked to Doug, the owner of Jet City, and asked him about it because I was trying to get more in. And he said, well, we've, we've made a deal with Musician's Friend, and it's really, you know, it's, good. it's very beneficial for Jet City to do it that way. So it works. it's good for Jet City. It's good for Musician's Friend. And, uh, you know, it's going to help them continue to grow and go to that next whatever level they need to get to. So, unfortunately, I can't get you one. But I can recommend them. I think they're great amps. They're great for modding. There's a big community of modders modding the Jet City stuff. Works great with pedals. And if you can pick one up, I, w I would not hesitate to get one. I'm hoping things will change in the future because you never things are always changing in the music industry. So for us, it was very positive note. You know, I chatted with Doug when um, this all came about, and I was like, hey. I understand, you know, running a business, you got to do what you got to do to keep things running sometimes or to go to the next level, whatever it is you got to do. And uh, I'm happy to do more demos and stuff for them, you know, so you never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So hopefully uh, we'll see what happens. But I would get one if you can. <clears throat> yes, get one. Uh, regarding the Blue Chapman Traditional. Ah, ML3s, yeah. Uh, this is a long question. I probably won't read all of it. There was going to be, this was going to be my next guitar. I salivated over it for months, <laughs> waiting for it to be released. Yes. A lot of people did. Me too. Many yeah. people. Loved the blue and thought it looked so unique, only for the production models to be totally different color. <laughs> I keep seeing people say it's not that different, but I beg to differ. It is literally an entirely different shade of blue. 
I've pulled up a side by side and there's a drastic difference. I'm not dogging the color, it's just so different from what the original has shown to us. My question is, why... Yeah. Sorry, there's so much writing here. I'm trying to break it up. <laughs> I'm trying to read this question. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Just spaced it out. Should it, yeah. Why? My, why the world has no one at Chapman addressed this and, interest, and instead just ignored the color change like it didn't happen? I've attempted to have this addressed on several platforms with no results. I wanted to know whether this was a mistake that would be remedied with the next run mm -hmm. or if the change was authorized without acknowledgement and would continue with future shipments. However, since not one person affiliated with Chapman Guitars attempted to explain this, I spent my money on a sweet Joe Bonamassa Les Paul. All right, that's a, yeah. That's nice. That's a nice guitar. If it's uh, is it a Gibson Bonamassa? Because that's a that's a nice guitar. Anyways. Not knowing whether the original color would be offered in the future. I'm not sure if this was addressed because Rob thought it would hinder sales, but my opinion doesn't bode well in terms of integrity. Hmm. Still love Chappers and the whole Chapman Guitars crew, and we'll definitely be buying a Chapman from y'all. Just want to know what the situation is. Can't wait to shake your hands in person. Best. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to meet you in person, too. Yeah. We love meeting our guys. Uh, and ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mostly, it's mostly guys. Yeah, that come is. in. But um, well, you know, I've had a few questions about this actually. Mm -hmm. um, now, all I can say is I don't, I don't have any concrete answers for that. Like, I didn't get an official memo from Chapman Guitars or, mm -hmm. you know, any email notifications or anything like that. You know, we just got the guitars and we opened them up and they're blue. Mm -hmm. Blue, yeah. So, yeah, I don't have any official response. You know, I don't have any, whatever. Nobody's called me or said anything. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of chalked it up to, you know, prototypes. I mean, prototypes are prototypes. It's a one-off, mm -hmm. you know, basic kind of thing. And then when things go into production, you know, I don't know, things change from time to time. I mean, there's a couple of things that changed on the guitar, like the brass saddles and the compensated saddles. And, you know, there are some other things that are different about the guitars than on the prototypes, which is why they make prototypes. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Um, I thought it was a bit darker. I mean, it's blue. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is blue. It's pretty. It's yeah. Let me get it's my, my favorite color blue. <clears throat> yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And it really through the camera, from what I can see on the camera, it doesn't give it justice in person. Yeah, you got to see them in person to really appreciate them. Now, because you can see like the wood yeah. grain color coming through. Lighter shade right there. This one's mine. You can't buy it. It's mine. You can play on it if you come up here. I'll let you play on it. But yeah, and see it in person because you have to see them in person. Yeah, it's a funny thing with. Um, I didn't really think much about it. I mean, I I like it. I I thought it was very Tardis blue now, which that's why I like it. Yeah, we're big uh, fans. Yeah, I like blue anyway. It's my favorite color. Mm -hmm. But you know, I've had a few people ask and. I I don't know. I can't really say. I can tell you that they've sold incredibly well. <laughs> we are completely sold out of the blue ones. Uh, I think Ike, uh, my buddy in Denver, who's the Chapman dealer there, is sold out. I think the guys up north are sold out of theirs. They're all sold out. Like Even Anderton's. I think everybody's sold out of the blue. So, you know, if, if there was, whether it was, whatever change happened for whatever reason, definitely hasn't hurt sales at all. Um... I kind of chalked it up to, you know, photographing certain colors is very difficult to do. Very. Extremely. Particularly, I know red is a particularly red difficult. Red is ridiculous to come. Like, you cannot photograph a red guitar in any type of medium, in under type of lighting, and then you get that guitar in person, and it be the, the same. same. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just a difficult, difficult color to photograph. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not really sure, because I haven't done it a lot with blue guitars, but you never know, color correction on photos and all kinds of mm -hmm. things. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think it's a, a shade darker than the original prototype because you can go watch the videos of Rob playing the prototype. And I think it's a, a teeny bit lighter, but, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think it's like Yeah, totally... it's not like you got a teal. Yeah, it's not like it's, you know, completely yeah, different. Pale blue. Pa like family of blue. powder blue. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, you know... Yeah, and I don't know, with, with guitars, 
like staining stained guitars mm -hmm. is different than a painted guitar. Yeah. You know, you'll 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 find some of this on the black guitars, like the Rob Chapman, the RC, mm -hmm. his signature RC one that's black. You'll see some that are very black, mm -hmm. and then some that are lighter black. Yeah. Like the wood gray. grain is coming. Yeah. The wood color is coming. Yellow and the wood color is coming through it. And I've seen one or two that are almost um, green. Well, like brown. Yeah, greenish brown because of the yellow and the black. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say. And like some of those, I was like, wow, that's a bit browner than it is black, but mm -hmm. it's still a beautiful guitar. Still gorgeous, gorgeous. Guitars. But I, you know, I don't know. I'm not a luthier by trade, and so I don't know if the staining process, what's all involved with that, if that's a different type of deal than mm -hmm. you know just spraying a polyester coat on there or not. But mm -hmm. So uh, the short answer is, I don't know. There's been no official thing. I don't know if that's what it is, but uh, I don't know. Now, like if you had pre-ordered one and you were mad about it, <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. that might be one thing, I guess. But no, none of my customers who got one, they all love them. So I don't know. I'm assuming because this is, you know, we got them. Everybody who got them, Andertons, me, all the dealers all over the world, all got the same shade of blue. So I'm assuming this is probably the shade that's. That's going to be. This it. is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if that answered. That probably didn't answer your question. Well, we only know what we know. Yeah. And the color blue is what it is. And everyone seems to like it. So, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So who knows what wine? I'm sure when you see it in person and get your hands on it, and it'll make a big difference to you too. Yeah. Either you'll like it or you won't. Well, you either like it or not, but that's that's neither here. That's everything in life. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, man. But come on down. We'd yeah. love to have you come over. Definitely. This is mine. I have one. In st well, it's not in stock. It's mine. Yeah. So in your stock. Yeah. <laughs> this is my personal stock, but I do have one you can come see and play on. It. Yeah. So you never know. When you see stuff in person, mm -hmm. and it's never the same as when you see stuff even on video or in pictures. It's never, it never captures it very, very well. So mm -hmm. that might be one of those things when you see it for reals. Yeah. You might have a different opinion. You might not. <laughs> for reals. I don't know. Walmart. It's all right, though. All right, dude. So that was Brandon's question. We have any more? Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Another wonderful number 29. 29. Big truck outside. You Almost that. 30 years old. The big 3-0 over the hill. Texas. Texas. <laughs> big old trucks, yo. Boy, it's brown here. <laughs> Making that ice cold. Big old truck. <laughs> Driving them big old trucks. I don't know if that's how it goes. No, it's not. I don't think we, so. That's why we changed the words. We fixed it. We made it better. That truck is still going. <laughs> it's about two miles down the road now. You got some pops on that truck. Nice. You still hear it? I can still hear it. There's a main road outside of RA Music. So yeah, we're on we, a highway. We're right on here. a main kind of main highway. Yeah. Well, not a main highway, but a a main. You know, one of our. It's an important one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty. It's important an important one. road, <laughs> Texas yep. Highway. All right, so if you got some questions for next week, go ahead and leave them. We'll figure out how we're going to do this because I'm going to be in California at the NAM show. Next Thursday, I will be in NAM and I'll be there Friday. So we'll figure out. So exciting. So excited. I'm not excited about getting on an airplane. And being away from me. I'm not excited about being away from you. I hate that. We're going to go to the zoo. Go. You, you should go. And I'm in the scared. morning, I'm making waffles. I'm making waffles. So go ahead and leave us your questions. We'll either answer them next week somehow in some fashion or answer them the next week. I don't know. But leave them below and we'll talk to you soon. I know what I like to say and that's keep the music alive. Keep plucking away. <laughs> <laughs> we just wrote a song. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.